Recalibrate. Recalibrate. Hang on. Hang on. All right. But that it better still be recording. All right. Money all for naught. All right, so here's the deal. So back to the crab. That sound familiar? Think about it again. translate it into the feet. So again. Then you make the tighter crab or alligator. When we use an AI tuning system, it detects precisely well what was sonically in the what they call the 732 position on the drum. Is there a tone control? Or is there a is there a rod there? Yes. Okay, adjust it three and a half degrees. Okay, hang on. Hang on. No? No. Alright, I'm skull. It's on the underside. Right, do back here. Stand by. I do think it's on the underside. It's just a little something's a little barrowy, and I don't like when it's a little barrowy. Just checking the bear factor. Right? That's the you don't want the arrow. Unless you have a really smart noise gate system. Or a... I don't know. Let's try this. That's a nice head, though. Well, that's an old school. All right, here we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So it started as the crab, now goes to the tighter alligator. Then it comes in a compressor. I'm here. I'm out here. I get clear. The pattern almost becomes flammy. In fact, you can go from a straight head on to start to flam and then slide and swing it all the way to the triplet and then backwards. I think my right hand might have dictated more the straight pulse than the left, I think, should be the basis. But I mean, well, I don't know. Maybe not, because you have to flam it. Anyway. 